Hey everybody, it's UM here, and I'm here to do uh, my next Transformers review. As you see, uh, it's, uh, yeah, Ultra Magnus, but not doing classics Ultra Magnus. If you saw my review on Optimus Prime, you pretty much know how to transform Ultra Magnus, considering he's just a straight up repaint of Optimus Prime. Ultra Magnus is a pretty good figure. I love the paint scheme, as you can see, white and blue, blue eyes, silver face paint, black gun there you go this is a review on G1 Ultra Magnus this is the reissue um, I got it for a pretty good price so that's why I have one. As you can tell, short smokestacks as opposed to the long ones because apparently they don't want uh, children uh, killing themselves with smokestacks. Okay, fine. This is one of the coolest G1 figures that was ever made, in my opinion. I love this figure. Um, I like him better in a robot mode, but that's just me. I love, um, he's essentially, again, an Optimus Prime repaint. That's all he is. Um, so, yeah, I'll move the uh, trailer. And I will not be bringing out these small fists. They're in a box. I do not display him in small mode, so. Just the cab. So, just like Optimus, and legs down, the feet out, fairly simple transformation. You put the fist in, you get the idea. He comes with a gun. White on white. So, it comes with the gun. So, there he is. Ultra Magnus. He's got, okay, he's got... Red eyes in a blue face paint. Now, on the package to good old Classics Ultra Magnus, it actually shows the Classics Ultra Magnus with the red eyes and the blue face paint. Blue, blue face mask. Um, and they apparently decided against all others and decided to just make it blue with silver. I don't know. It's still pretty cool. He's leaving again. But as you can see, he's got a very blue and red. You can see that even in a, from this distance. So, in order to make it into the Ultra Magnus that we all know and love, the first thing you gotta do is you move the arms back like this. You gotta move the feet down. Okay? Now, I'm gonna keep the feet up because I gotta do some, I gotta finagle the trailer. So, I'm gonna move Ultra Magnus aside. Okay, first thing you gotta do with the trailer is remove, that's my cat's fighting if you can hear that. We do that a lot. So, yeah, you gotta remove the missile launchers first. And then next thing I do is I, I just move these all up like that. It makes it a lot easier. Flip these little white levers, okay, in. And then you split the top like so. Okay? He's gonna get kind of big, so I'm gonna help you all to move him back. Alright, there you go. There's his uh, body mold. Okay, now one thing this is the little white, this little white thing. Is actually what Ultra Magnus can use as his hitch, okay? Now you take that off from the bottom. Well, what was the bottom? You also, this thing comes off too, but uh, I just keep it on there. And you take the white thing and you put it right there. You click those in so they're in. Okay. So what you want to do now is he has big fist. He has small fist and he has big fist. I have the big fist because I display him in his big, in the 
uh, armor mode. So I'm gonna put the fist into the sockets without them falling out. There we go. Okay, next thing. Let's see this. Missile launchers. One goes on this one. And one goes on this one. Alrighty. So. All right, next part is we're gonna put this into this. So, we wanna fold the feet down. We wanna have them looking just like this. Okay? Now, let me turn the big suit around for you. Now you're gonna see here, where I took the white thing out, there's two pegs, okay? The holes where you put the little fist in Ultra Magnus go into those holes. Let's see if I can do this right in one take. Alrighty, you should lock in just like this. See? Alright, I'll go ahead and turn them around and There he is, without the helmet. And so I'm going to put the helmet on. And that's the Ultra Magnus that you know from the um, cartoon. This head right here. The movie was voiced by Unsolved Mysteries and Airplanes, Robert Stack. Not really much you can do with him posability wise. He can only move his arms. And even there, they're kind of limited with what they can do. Well, there you go. See you guys later.